600 grivna. Ja, he can say gets to the board at the 600. The 600, huh? Mm. Is it okay? Bye bye. I held up here at the border between Ukraine and Transnistria because the driver is trying to bring some animal feed in and he doesn't want to pay the bribes. Here. He's also bringing a broken, a broken car door, whatever. So. Looking pretty cool. Haven't even checked it yet. We came here to, to uh, see the beach and to go to this hotel. But the locals tell us don't go to this hotel. These lovely women say that this hotel is terrible. But we're gonna check it out anyway. Like this quality Soviet lift. Let's see what we get for how much are we paying? 200, 400 grivna. Room 505. <laughs> I like it. Dude, it's quality. We have a balcony, river view, Best room double bed. Oh, what? No shower? Oh, no shower. I said, do we get the towels? She said, yes, towels, but where are the towels? Like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm just swimming in the river. I'm still in Tiraspol. Last night I had a swim over there. I didn't have the camera, so today. I'm going to bring the camera into the river as I drift down and see what happens. The girls we went out with yesterday said, No, you can't swim here, you're crazy. There's big holes that are going to suck you in. So, we'll see if that's true or not. I have my doubts. Here at night, there are people out drinking and, and partying here on the river. And that's at least during the weekday, I think yesterday was Wednesday. That's pretty much the only, the only place that had some some life it's pretty pretty quiet the other places we went to it's a nice older river boat there's a water slide and a beach over here that we're gonna gonna swim from and then our hotel is down there past the river on the on the right hand side there Center Beach. Live current. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, it's strong. We're gonna. They're looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> They're really gonna swim here. <laughs> oh dude, it's strong as fuck. We're just gonna have to go for it, because it's gonna catch us. We're being intercepted by the coppers here. It's pretty funny. They're telling us no. Swim them. We're trying to outswim them, but they keep following us. Okay, they're towing us in here. 
Yeah. We can just walk across the bridge and we'll just swim the other place. There's yeah. Something. Yeah. The right. They won't see us there. The right. It won't help with the legs, make him work for it. So we're back on land. The river police made us abort our attempt. They came with a rowing boat after us over on that beach. Said you cannot drift down here, it's illegal. So we're going to a beach where there is no river police. Over here, and then we can drift uh, way, way, way down. So let's see how this goes. The current was quite strong. It was really a nice place to just uh, chill and drift along. And I'm looking forward to this. Try again. No river cops around here. Hopefully. Just to give you an idea of how strong this current is, I'm standing still right now. I'm trying to anyway. There's the water streaming past me. Now I'm gonna let go, I'm gonna start moving. No surrender. drifted for about half an hour now still some people around but getting less and less built up no buildings around here just some power lines see how far we can go whoa did a fish attack you yeah. that was fucking funny <laughs> oh, Jesus. i think i got that on film <laughs> fucking hell where is he <laughs> no i'm scared <laughs> Drifting along here. I don't know how long it's been, an hour and a half maybe. It's quite scenic. It's bad. Little bit of a walk. This is downtown. It's where it all goes down. Well, it's where nothing goes down. This town is really quiet. There's not that many people around. I spoke to a cab driver yesterday and he said everyone that could, basically anyone with any kind of money or education have left. So he says the city is dying. And uh, at least on weekdays, it looks like he's right. The river that I was swimming in is, is down there. And further up this street here, you have, a, you have a couple of restaurants. Mafia, I think that's a Ukrainian chain. Hello. What? Diva Jesubas. Luchiche Mafia Diva. So Going for a midnight swim. Oops. Na zdrowie. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, this is awesome. All right, we're going straight. So let's go up to first. First on the ladder is here. 
Damn, it's been a while since I've driven a car. Mm -hmm. Especially Lada. Oh. Okay, we'll go in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can back it up here. It's my first time driving a Lada. All right. And then, up in the first. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay, see yes. what? Yes, yes. Fantastic. Founder of Tiraspol. So we got Tiraspol over there, the other side of the river. Yeah. Built in the 14th century. So I don't know much about this place other than the fact that it's the only kind of main historical thing to see in this republic so Transniestra literally means across the river Niester so this fort is on the side that is connected with Moldova by land the other side is separate from uh, Moldova uh, by land I mean the river runs straight across it and that's why uh, Moldova wasn't able to, to uh, captured this uh, territory was it in 19, 1991 I'll have to look that up again it's about all the history I know about this place this is pretty interesting I'm still by that fort I don't know if you can hear this but uh, there's an uh, army marching in and shouting back here earlier when I was in the city I mean you see Russian soldiers walking around with Russian flags on their uniforms and it's pretty obvious who runs this place I mean this is Russian territory you know, uh, in uh, Eastern Moldova. So, what uh, another implication of that is that uh, Russia has uh, army uh, army station on both sides of Ukraine, because uh, this is is uh, southwest of, of Ukraine, Transnistria. So, uh, this is next to an abandoned factory here. Oh, mosquitoes! This is an uh, I guess an abandoned factory. It's right uh, next to that old old fort. They call it the, the citadel here. I'll be quiet. Maybe you can hear the the soldiers drumming and marching. Anyway, we're going back into Transnistria now. So we're leaving this glorious establishment, the most prestigious hotel in the world. Bye bye. Doesn't look too bad from the outside. They seem to spend more money on the back than on the inside. Yeah. Classic ladder. Not as good as the one I drove yesterday. amazing border between Prinestrovia and uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Ukraine is over there. Let's see how much they hassle us at this border. This is an infamous border crossing. Supposedly you're not going to be able to walk by here without offering some kind of bribe. So good luck to me. That's it. Doing it by foot took two minutes. Doing it by car took half an hour. No hassle. Walking from way from the Prinestrovian border now in no man's land to Ukraine. We're doing it by foot. And we're gonna try and hitchhike on the other side, the Ukrainian side, see how that goes. Can 
carry no man's land towards your brain. So a bridge. And right behind the Ukraine sign. Very interesting. Kind of epitomizes the, the state of this country right now, sadly. But let's see here, here's the sign. Right after the sign. Love the speed limits here in this country. You can actually drive here from one city to the next without feeling you're moving at snail's pace. That's the problem driving in Russia.